in this video i'll talk about um, some uh, basic mathematics used uh, in analytics uh, this video is useful for people who are not um, who are not good with the basics of mathematics or they have studied it long ago and they don't remember much now um, most of you might be aware of uh, whatever I'll be you know teaching here so those of you who are not uh, very comfortable with the basics of mathematics can watch this video um, <coughs> So I'll, I'll be talking about uh, three things. The first one is what is a mathematical function and then how to plot in a XY uh, plot or how to plot a function in a um, XY plane. And the last thing I'll be talking about is the uh, basic uh, calculus, uh, differentiation and uh, integration. So, uh, so the first topic is uh, what is a function? Well, um, I'll start with an example. I'll take uh, y equal to x plus 2. So uh, I can uh, write in this way as well f of x equal to x plus 2. So they are essentially both the uh, both the above equations are essentially the same. So here um, y uh, depends on x. So if you keep on changing the value of x, you will get y. So when x is one, when x is one, y is three, right? When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 3, uh, y is 5. Right? Now, look at the series of numbers and look at the series of number here. So, what is the rule or what is the logic or what is that connects these two number series? This is the rule that every number in this particular series we call it series B, we call it series A here. So every number in series B is related to every number in series A with a rule. So what is the rule? You add 2 here and you will get a corresponding number in series B. So you add 1 plus 2, you get 3. You add 2 here, you get 4. So that's the, uh, you know, the rule which uh, talks about the relationship between two variables. So two variables are x and y. So in place of y, we can just write it as f of x or the function of x or the rule that operates on x variable. Okay. So that's how we define a function. So a function is nothing but a rule that uh, relates two variables okay or more than two variables it could be more than also so uh, <clears throat> there are several types of function this is a linear function uh, why this is a linear function because uh, the degree of uh, this function is one um, what is the degree degree is something but the power the power of x is one here so this is a linear function if it is uh, x square plus uh, 2 then this is a quadratic function so this function is a quadratic function okay um, there can be several function uh, if you have fx equal to logarithm of x so this is a logarithmic function so uh, fx will have a value which is the logarithm of the value the x takes. So if x is 1, log of 1 is 0. So fx has a value of 0. Okay. 
so that's the logarithmic function you can have exponential function like this a to the power x um, and uh, and there are so many types of functions available um, so that's about functions so how do we plot a function in xyz plan well this is important because uh, when we study regression in analytics we actually plot and i have seen that so many times i'll be you know starting with the regression and uh, people some of them uh, not many though are not clear like um, how do we plot a line in xyz plane what is the slope what is an intercept so uh, let us see um, how do we plot it so let us plot y equal to x plus plus 2 in a xyz plane so this is the x axis and this is the y axis here so um, we have x is equal to 1 and then y equal to 3 so for a x is equal to 1, y takes 3. Um, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then in similarly in y axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when x is 1, y is 3. So the point is here when x is 2 y is 4 so the point is here okay see uh, it's the one here right so this is one and this is three so we have just uh, pointed out the uh, exact point on the xy plane where y takes a value of three and x takes a value of one Similarly, the second is x takes a value of 2, y takes a value of 4. So, x takes a value of 2, y takes a value of 4. Similarly, for 3, it is going to be here. When you connect all three points, well, the line should pass through all three points, then you get the line that corresponds to this function. Or this equation okay so uh, in the functional form this is this is the function form and this is the equation form so they're essentially the same um, <clears throat> so this line corresponds to the that function now there are two things of a line which are very important one is what is an intercept and the second one is what is a slope uh, if you stretch this line, it will pass through the y-axis exactly at 2. That means when x is 0, when you put a 0 here, y is 2, right? Hence, here it is 0, right? This is origin. So, this is 0 and 0. Both x and y are 0. So, when x is 0, y takes a value of 2. Hence, this line will pass through this point. Okay, this is a point of 0 and 2. Okay, so this the distance between the point where the line passes through y axis and the origin is known as the intercept. Okay, so the line passes through y axis at 2 and the distance between that point from the origin is uh, the intercept. Okay and intercept is always um, uh, always in a linear equation uh, is not associated with uh, any variable for example here in this equation you can see you can clearly see that 2 is the intercept because 2 doesn't have a variable associated with it right uh, it's not 2x or 2x square it's just 2 okay nothing associated with it so that's the intercept okay so, uh, if the equation is y is uh, x plus uh, 10, then clearly 10 is the intercept. Okay, so that's how we um, uh, we can figure out what is the intercept in an equation. The next thing is what is the slope? Well, the slope is you take any point and create a base here and join 
with a perpendicular make sure that this is 90 degree okay this is the base and this is the perpendicular okay let's call it a and the base is b okay if you divide a by b you will get the slope okay and you can take any point anywhere on this line take any point stretch it and then join it from above make sure that the angle is 90 degree and then call it perpendicular and call it base and divide them okay so whatever you get that is nothing but the slope okay so that is the slope of the line okay there is another way of getting the slope well slope is nothing but if you uh, you know draw base and uh, uh, perpendicular you will get an angle here right so the angle that the line makes with the x axis okay since this line and the x axis is, uh, are they, they both are perpend uh, sorry parallel to each other so the angle the line makes with this base is exactly same as it makes with the x axis okay if you take the tan of that so tan is the uh, log uh, the um, trigonometric function so if you take the tan of that you will get the slope of the line okay so this is going to be used uh, in the regression analysis wherein we will find out the intercept and slope coefficients for a regression equation the last thing that we are going to study in this video is the basics of calculus well calculus has two parts um, it has got many parts in fact but the most uh, uh, popular ones are um, the differentiation and uh, integration okay so um, I'll start with an example without getting into the theory it's going to take a long time to learn the theory so um, how do we differentiate a function okay um, say for example the function that we want to differentiate is x square so y is equal to x square okay so we want to differentiate y with respect to x okay so dy by dx so differentiation is like your uh, uh, dy is like change in y okay it's like uh, y2 minus y1 not exactly though mathematically this is actually wrong but this is something similar okay we need to use the limit i'm not getting into the details of it but yes something similar okay x2 minus x1 so the change in y with respect to change in x so that's what we do in differentiation so uh, what is the change in y with respect to change in x so d stands for different difference okay and that's why that's how we uh, uh, you know that's why we call it differentiation so the differentiation comes from the word difference so dy by dx of this function is going to be uh, 2 into x to minus 1 so what you do is you bring 2 here the power is 2 so bring it to the left of x and subtract minus 1 from there so what you finally get is 2 of x so if x is equal to x cube then the dy by dx is 3 okay you so bring 3 here x 3 minus 1 is equal to 3 x square so what is the general formula if y is equal to uh, x to the power n okay x to the power n for any power of n so the dy by dx is going to be n x to the power n minus 1 so that's the general formula there are uh, so many functions for which you need to know what is the differentiation for example uh, what is the differentiation of a log function okay dy by dx if y is equal to log x okay y equal to 
uh, log x so what is the differentiation if you take differentiate this you will get 1 by x if y equal to exponential of x okay uh, dy by dx is also exponential of x doesn't change 